Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is singular value decomposition and how to factor the given matrix into singular matrix with the help of simple solved example. This is the solved example number 2. Link for other example is given in the description below. Singular value decomposition stands for SVD is a popular image transform technique. It has a lot of applications in dimensionality reduction, image restoration, image compression and object recognition. The SVD transform the given matrix A into the matrices like U, Sigma and V transpose where U is the left singular matrix, Sigma is the singular matrix and V transpose is the right singular matrix. Now we will discuss how to calculate all these singular matrices given a matrix. So in this case we have been given a matrix A with the two rows and two columns. We need to find the singular matrices like U, Sigma and V transpose here. Now we will discuss how can we factor a given matrix into different singular matrix step by step. In the first step we need to find A transpose and then we need to find A transpose multiplied by A here. So A is equal to 1, 2, 2, 1 that is the matrix given to us. A transpose is always equal to the rows of the original matrix is converted into column here. So this row will become the first column here and the second row will become the second column in this case. Now once you get this uh, A transpose, we need to calculate A transpose multiplied by A here. So A transpose multiplied by A is, this is the A transpose, this is A. We need to take the multiplication. That is uh, the row of first uh, matrix is multiplied with the columns of second matrix. So 1 is multiplied to 1 plus 2 is multiplied to 2 here. So 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. That is what I got here. Similarly, the same row is multiplied to the second column. So 1 multiplied to 2, that is 2. 2 multiplied to 1, that is 2. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Similarly, we have to calculate the remaining elements in this case. So this is A transpose A in this case. Now, once you calculate A transpose A, in the second step, we need to calculate the eigenvalues of A transpose A matrix here. Now, the question is how to calculate the eigenvalues. The eigenvalues of any matrix is calculated using this equation. That is, determinant of a matrix. Matrix in this case is what? A transpose A minus lambda i should be equal to 0. So, where i is what? The identity matrix here. So, first we will put the A transpose A. This is A transpose A minus lambda Identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1 in this case. First, uh, we will solve uh, this part and then we will take the determinant here. So, that is nothing but uh, 5 minus lambda into 1, that is nothing but 5 minus lambda. 4 minus lambda into 0, that is nothing but 4 here. 4 minus lambda into 0, that is 4. 5 minus lambda into 1, that is 5 minus lambda. The determinant of this is equal to 0 here. Now, the next question is how to calculate the determinant here. To calculate the determinant, what we do? We will take the multiplication of this uh, diagonal element minus the multiplication of these diagonal elements. That is nothing but 5 minus lambda into 5 minus lambda minus 4 into 4. That is equal to 5 minus lambda bracket square minus uh, 16 which is equal to 0 here. Now we will simplify this one. It will become 25 minus uh, 10 lambda plus lambda square. So 25 minus 16 it will become 9 here. So, once you simplify it, you will get lambda square minus 10 lambda plus 9 is equal to 0 here. Now, we will try to find the roots of this equation. Uh, it can be factored something like this. Lambda square minus 9 lambda minus 1 lambda plus 9 is equal to 0. Once you take a lambda outside, the first part will look something like this. And the second part, uh, I have taken 1 outside, it will look something like this. Now, once you simplify it, lambda will become 9 one time and second time lambda will become plus 1 here. So, the eigenvalues of the matrix A transpose A is equal to 9 and 1 in this case. Now, once you calculate the eigenvalues, the next step is to calculate the eigenvectors corresponding to these eigenvalues here. So, first I will consider the eigenvalue is equal to 9. The eigenvector V1 is equal to X1, X2 in this case. Now, the question is how to calculate uh, the V1 here. To calculate V1, we use this equation that is uh, the A transpose A multiplied by the eigenvector that is v1 here which is equal to lambda multiplied by v1 in this case. Now what we need to do is we need to simplify it. First I will take the multiplication on the left hand side that will become 5x1 plus 4x2. What will be on the right hand side? We have 9x1. So if I take it on the left side 5x1 minus 9x1 will become uh, minus 4x1 
and 4x2 will be as it is. So that is what I have written in the first case. Similarly, we have to do it for the second one, which is equal to 0 here. Now, if you look, notice these uh, equations, minus 4x1 plus 4x2 is equal to 0. That means 4x1 is equal to 4x2, x1 is equal to x2, x1 is equal to x2 is equal to 1 in this case. So, once you get the values of x1 and x2, we need to put in, in this uh, v1 here. It will become v1 is equal to 1, 1 over here. So, what we need to do here is, uh, first we need to calculate the length of the eigenvector and then we need to divide each element by that uh, length in this case. So, the length of this vector v1 is equal to square root of the square sum of square of the elements in this case. So, first element is what? The 1, second element is also 1. So, 1 square plus uh, 1 square in this case, that is nothing but square root of 2 here. So, the normalizer eigenvector v1 is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 and second one is also 1 divided by square root of 2 here. So, once you calculate the normalizer vector v1 with respect to 2, lambda is equal to 9, the second uh, eigenvector we need to calculate with respect to lambda is equal to 1 here. So, the same process we need to follow here. The only difference is what? Here, uh, 9 we have taken. In this case, I have taken 1 here. Now, once you simplify, you will get 4x1 plus 4x2 is equal to 0. That means 4x1 is equal to minus 4x2. 4 and 4 will get cancelled. x1 is equal to minus x2. If I take x1 is equal to 1, x2 will become minus 1 in this case. Again, we have calculated the second eigenvector that is v2 is equal to 1 minus 1 in this case. Now, we need to normalize this uh, v2 again. To normalize the second uh, eigenvector, first we need to take the length. The length of this eigenvector v2 is equal to square root of 1 square plus uh, minus uh, 1 square here because x1 is 1 and x2 is equal to minus 1 in this case. Again, you will get uh, square root of 2 as the answer here. So, the normalized eigenvector v2 is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 and second one is minus 1 divided by square root of 2 here. Now, we have calculated the eigenvectors. The next step is to calculate the right singular matrix so that is V transpose here. To calculate the right singular matrix V transpose. We have already calculated the V1 and V2. Right singular matrix V is equal to V1, V2. That is V1 is the first column and V2 will be the second column in this matrix. Now, once you calculate the matrix V here, the next step is to calculate the transpose of uh, matrix V that is V transpose. The rows of this matrix will become the columns in this case. Now, once you calculate uh, V transpose, that is nothing but the right singular matrix. The next step is to calculate the singular matrix, that is sigma here. Now, we need to calculate uh, the singular matrix uh, sigma here. The sigma contains uh, the square root of eigenvalues, that is uh, 9 is the one eigenvalue and 1 is the another value. We need to take the square roots and they will be the diagonal elements of this uh, singular matrix sigma here and remaining all elements will be 0. And one thing we need to make sure that uh, we need to take uh, the largest eigenvalue first and the second largest second and so on. Now, in this case, uh, the lambda is equal to 9 here. The square root of 9 is equal to 3. And uh, second uh, eigenvalue that is lambda is equal to 1. Square root of 1 is equal to 1 in this case. We need to put these values where? We need to put on the diagonal elements here. So, the sigma is equal to 3, 0, 0, 1 in this case. Now, once you calculate the singular matrix, the next step is to calculate the left singular matrix that is U here. To calculate the left singular matrix, uh, first we need to calculate the delta 1 and delta 2. Delta 1 is nothing but the square root of uh, first uh, eigenvalue that is uh, 9 here, which is equal to 3. Delta 2 is equal to square root of uh, second eigenvalue that is 1, which is equal to 1 in this case. Now, once you calculate the delta 1 and delta 2, the U1 is calculated using this equation u1 is equal to 1 minus delta 1 multiplied by a that is the original matrix multiplied by v1 that is the eigenvector of a transpose a in this case. So, delta 1 is known to us that is 3. So, 1 divided by 3 multiplied by a is nothing but 1, 2, 2, 1 that is the original matrix and v1 we have already calculated. Now, we need to take the multiplication of all 3 here. So, first we will take the multiplication of these two that is nothing but 1 multiplied by 1 by square root of 2 plus 2 divided by 1 by square root of 2 here, that is nothing but 3 divided by square root of 2 over here. So, that is what I have written here. Similarly, I have to calculate the second element also. Now, once you calculate it, we need to multiply 1 by 3 to this matrix. So, this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled. This 3 and this 3 will get cancelled. We will get 1 by square root of 2 and 1 by square root of 2 as the first column of left singular matrix here. 
similarly we need to calculate the second uh, column of left singular matrix u with the help of uh, delta 2 here so u2 is equal to 1 divided by delta 2 multiplied by a multiplied by v2 in this case so again we need to put all the values and then we need to simplify it you will get u2 is equal to minus 1 by square root of 2 1 by square root of 2 in this case now we have calculated the u1 and u2 the left singular matrix u is equal to it is a combination of u1 and u2 here u1 will be the first column and u2 will be the second column here so u is equal to this is the first u1 and this is the u2 here so this is how u will look like now we have calculated all the three matrices that is the left singular matrix singular matrix as well as the right singular matrix uh, next we need to uh, write the final equation for svd that is uh, a is equal to u sigma v transpose this is a u that is the left singular matrix this is a singular matrix and this is the right singular matrix here this is how we can find the factors of the given matrix that is u sigma and v transpose in this case now we will verify our answer whether it is correct or wrong so what we need to do is we need to take the multiplication between uh, these three matrices here so once you take the multiplication between first two matrices the result will look something like this this has to be multiplied to the third matrix the result will look something like this that is 1 2 2 1 that is the original matrix the meaning of this one is we have performed the correct singular value decomposition transform on the given matrix here so in this video i have discussed what is a singular value decomposition and how can we use singular value decomposition to find the factors of a given matrix i hope the concept of uh, this video is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching